Man, recap of marathon training this year it has been very eye-opening. I've learned a lot about how my body recovers, what kind of fuel ac actually works best for running as far as like what should I eat the night before, what should I eat the morning of, what should I do in the between the run. So much trial and error. I would say that like I ask a lot of questions to people that I know that run a lot more than I do and a lot better than I do, trying to figure out what would work best. Tried a lot of different things and I felt like I got in tune with recovery and so many different aspects of my physical health. And on top of that, from a mental health side of things, I feel so much better than I did before I started training because running is a great analogy for life. You give the best effort that you got out there that day, might be better, might be worse than the day before, but you went out there and gave it your best. You got a little bit better that day. So uh, more recap coming this week. Marathon is Saturday. I will post my bib number. There was a mix up. Actually, they somehow marked me an active. I'm like, is this a sign that I'm not supposed to run it? Or they flagged me for maybe being slow, whatever that might be, but got it all straightened out. I'll get my bib number on registration, so stay tuned. Download the Grandma's Marathon app, follow along as the race goes.